Mom Gia de Rio de Janeiro. Today we have a really nice road trip, one day trip from Rio to two of the most beautiful cities here in the state. Uh, first one would be Teresopolis and the second one would be Petropolis, also known as the Imperial City. The distance to Teresopolis is about one hour and a half and we will spend maybe a couple of hours there and then we will head to Petropolis. As you already saw on that uh, sign, we are in the national park Serra do Sergao and it looks wonderful. If you want to come here and stop at this viewpoint, you have to know that it's called Mirante do, do Soberbo. Uh, this mountain peak is called Dedo de Deus, which means finger of God, and it's that one over there. So we just entered Teresopolis, still 13 minutes to get to the center of the city. We stopped in Teresopolis and the first thing we're going to visit is Club Comari also known as headquarters for the Brazilian football. We can only visit it if we go walking. We left the car somewhere behind. We are crossing this river and only 1500 meters more to walk. Okay, we entered and these are the uh, football fields. I saw some pools also. They say this space is huge, but what I'm interested to see most is the lake. So it's an artificial lake uh, built in 1930. Not sick or something. Brazilian national football team training center. Next stop is a viewpoint. 12 minutes from the previous place. We parked the car over there and now we have to walk just a few meters to reach Mirante da Colina. But before uh, we reach the highest point, I want to show you the view from here, it's breathtaking, so colorful, surrounded by mountains, so beautiful. We're gonna enter this building that has maybe around 8 meters to see the whole valley from above. Here is a map of uh, other viewpoints in the area and some hiking trails. This can also be used as a shelter in case it's raining. Let's see, how is the view from the top? Wow. And look at this tree right here. If you guys know the name of this tree, please tell me, because I've seen it everywhere in Rio and I have no idea what's the name. This is how tall this uh, structure is. I told you, I think it's around eight meters and the view is gorgeous a view over the whole city of Terrasopolis
next point in Terrasopolis is Ara Botanica, a botanical garden famous for the collection of orchids and other plants. I think this is aloe vera and is gigantic, so big. It seems it's free, you don't have to buy any ticket to visit, instead we found this cute doggies who came to say hi. Hi! <laughs> There's another one sleeping over there. Hey! And there's another one here. I don't want to bother him. He's resting. Hi! This garden is on the way to Petropolis. We are planning to go to Terrasopolis first and then to Petropolis. It's a good idea to visit this garden at the end of your trip in uh, Terrasopolis. Okay, let's see. My mother would love to visit this garden because she's a huge fan of flowers. I like them too, but not as much as she does. Look at this house birds. Uh, house birds? Houses for birds. So adorable. Brazil must be one of the most pet-friendly countries I've ever seen. They put water especially for your pet. And almost all the places in Brazil are pet friendly, or at least in Rio. They are selling honey. I wonder what is this? Some sweets? Maybe we'll take some to taste. How many colors? I think this one over here is my favorite because it has this little house inside. So beautiful. Let's go to the orchids. Wow. And they are not even expensive. We can buy this one for 55, which is so cheap considering how gorgeous it is. There is a smell here, I cannot describe it, but it's... Mm. This plant smells amazing! And there is another pavilion, even bigger than the other two. Let's see what they have here. I see some cactus. It's also a shopping area, you can buy any plant you want, of course, only if you live in Brazil. Otherwise, I think you need uh, permission or something look how cute I would love to take this home we bought some sweets from here and I want to show you it's first this bag right here with uh, 6.9 GI's Dolce Pak Dose Pacote with 12 real. I think it's some kind of caramel water from Teresopolis. This first. Exactly what I thought is caramel. Very good. Looks like a small sandwich. This one is biscuit with some jelly inside. Very good also. These are not just good, they are delicious. Only 12 PIs. Very much worth it. It started raining already. Hopefully it's not gonna last because we really don't need this rain today. And right now we are planning to stop to a waterfall on the way to Petropolis.
to Petropolis, we stopped by the road to search for a waterfall. It's called Makumba. We are not the only ones. There are some motorcycles and some cars. That's the river right there. That's where we stopped the car. We're gonna follow this route. I love the sound of the jungle. So this is the waterfall, it looks beautiful, it's made of two parts, that's the highest part up there, I don't know how many meters but around 40 my guess. And now we're going to the top part of the waterfall and if it's possible we will go even above the waterfall to see it from above. The road is still easy to hike, nothing difficult. And the temperature is okay, it's not like Rio. There's a lake and the water is so clear. We are back in the car ready to go to Petropolis and I want to tell you that the trip to here is worth it totally even if you just come to visit this wonderful waterfall it's so beautiful and uh, if you have more time uh, you have to know that there are other waterfalls in the area but uh, you need to hike to them uh, you'll find them for sure if you search for waterfalls between uh, Teresopolis and Petropolis in Petropolis and we only have a few hours to spend here so first we will go to visit the Imperial Museum and then the Cathedral and then to see a park right now we are in front of a cathedral but it's not that cathedral I just want to show you because it's really beautiful it reminds me a little bit about Cathedral du C from Sao Paulo since it's surrounded by these towering palm trees the Cathedral of Sao Pedro de Alcantara, also known as the Cathedral of Petropolis, and also here you will find the resting place of the last emperor of Brazil. Not only Dom Pedro II, the last emperor of Brazil, has his body here, but also his family. The cathedral was completed in 1925. The cathedral has a very, very beautiful facade and it's actually a Roman Catholic cathedral. It's written here that the access inside the cathedral is on the lateral gate. This should be the main entrance, but it seems it's closed. So here is the entrance right now. They have a project of rehabilitation. That's why you see this in front of the church. Wow. 
even inside. And right here are the bodies of the last emperor of Brazil together with his uh, wife and kids. there is a project of uh, restoration that it costs 13 million reais. We are in front of Museu Imperial which was the house of Pedro II, the last emperor of Brazil. Unfortunately, I think we found it closed. Let's see. I talked with someone uh, from the gate and he told me that the museum is not available for visiting. He mentioned an accident I have no idea what he was talking about, honestly. Maybe he was talking about the floods? I don't know. He just said it cannot be visited. And I don't think so. It has to do with the closing hours. Because it's still early. It should close at 5. And it's not 5 yet. These towering palm trees at the entrance remind me about the botanical garden in Rio. We came to the front gate and it's still closed. Since the museum is closed, we decided to park in front of it and to walk and visit the city. It has so many amazing buildings. This is a good example of a gorgeous building here in Petropolis. was built in 1890s and it belonged to the Austrian not naturalized Brazilian engineer Ernesto Diniz. Gorgeous design. This house is more than 100 years old and it looks amazing. Here is another one full of beautiful buildings on these streets. Most of them, they are built uh, in the 19th century. And here is another one built between 1880 and 1910. Uh, a businessman, Eduardo Palacin Ginle, founder of SIA. I don't know what is SIA, to be honest. But the house is definitely beautiful. What I was telling you about the floods, look how the water looks. We arrived at Casa of Princesa Isabel, built in the 1853 by its first owner, Barao da Pilar. Listed as historical heritage, it is currently the headquarters of the SIA, Immobiliara of the Petropolis. Okay, and here is the map of the city with the most important locations. And this is the house, Casa da Princesa Isabel. We're not going to visit it because I prefer to walk and see other places, but I just wanted to show you how it looks like. I love these trees. Just like the... it's called Spanish Mosque, I think. And this building is written over there that is the palace of Sergio Fadel. The question is, who is Sergio Fadel? And is also the city hall of the city. This is definitely one of my favorites from what I've seen so far. It has like a Spanish vibe to it. So beautiful. And this is where I was planning to come. It's called Villa Itaraf and in my opinion is the most interesting in the city because it looks like a castle. So beautiful. Unique. I'm trying to give you some sneak peeks of this building. 
Okay guys, I will have to end this vlog here because my battery is dying. I hope you enjoyed this uh, day trip from Rio de Janeiro and I hope I inspired you to travel to these two cities.